Every day, Golf Cart Garage gets questions about replacing batteries. So it's time for Ask Dave, right now on GCG TV. Hey, thanks for joining us today in the Golf Cart Garage for a quick battery replacement crash course. For the full Charles Minor rundown on the whole experience from delivery to recycling to installation, check out our video right here. But today, we're just taking a quick, up-close look at removal and replacement of the batteries on this club car for installation video purposes. Safety first, before we perform any work on the vehicle, we make a rule of removing the keys, setting the parking brake, switch the cart from run to tow mode, and chalk the wheels. Up next, with anything we disconnect or remove and replace, we'll usually take a couple of photos for reference later, if needed. Whether you're an old hand or working on your very first cart, reference photos can be an important step to ensuring that we remember everything correctly later. To perform the work safely, you're going to get a pair of gloves and a battery carrying strap like this one. Batteries are heavy and usually spaced too close to one another to be easily placed or removed entirely by hand. We'll include a link to our battery section and to this carry strap in the video description. Next up, we like to remove the main cables to the vehicle harness and charge receptacle and wrap the ends in electrical tape until we're ready to reconnect them. We'll remove our battery hold down plate doohickeys, I believe is the technical term, and then remove the battery cables connecting the entire series. Now our batteries are loose in the compartment, so we'll use our carry strap to carefully remove them one by one and place them on a pallet. If your charger doesn't have storage mode and you tend to remove your batteries for winter storage, here's where your project ends for a while. Go ahead and press pause and uh, we'll see you in a few months. There's a link to our blog on battery storage in the video description as well. For everyone else, here's where we check our reference photo and make sure to replace the stored batteries or the order of new batteries back into the compartment in the same orientation they were in previously to ensure that our cables still connect the series and the tie downs move into place correctly. Some good things to check while the batteries are entirely visible outside the cart. Inspect the housing of each one for bulging or signs of damage or overcharging. And make sure the cables are in good condition, clean and free of corrosion. Now that we've got our installation complete, it's time to set a charger to work and get our water levels checked. You can find our video on battery water maintenance right here. If you need help with parts, questions, diagnosis, or anything else for your cart, Stop by GolfCartGarage.com or give us a call at 1-800-401-2934 so we can help show you around the garage. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more episodes. Thanks for watching GCG TV.